get that ooh. I'm back to my channel my name is Shirley or you guys it's gonna be Prisha Shay today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial look that I haven't done in a while it's like a natural basic everyday you know makeup that you guys you know can wear every day wherever you go to work or you know hanging out with your friends you know everyday basic makeup and I'm gonna show you how to highlight and contour as well I'm gonna talk through the video so if you guys want to see how I achieve this makeup basic look to stay tuned into this video like i said before all the time if you're new here make sure you guys subscribe to my channel like comment of course click on the notification bell so you guys will miss out my um tutorials or whatever i put out it's been a while you know since i did makeup i sat down with you guys you know, got new bedroom set new background and whatnot so yeah i was like let me just you know do something simple for y'all you know show you how i look cute Mind you, I don't wear makeup every day like, like that no more because, you know, COVID, the mask, I don't got time for that. So I just put skincare when I go to work. But sometimes when I go out, I, you know, do like a nice basic look. So, yeah, I wanted to achieve this look and I want to show you guys. Just make sure you guys stay tuned and keep on watching. That's right. Let's get right into this, you know, tutorial. Yeah, I'm going to start off with my Duo Lash Glue. I'm going to use this as an eyebrow gel. A lot of makeup artists are using this right now. So, you know make their eyebrows stay in place instead of using the brow gel. So yeah, so I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna place it right on top of my eyebrow hairs. And it tends to get dry really fast. So yeah, I'm gonna use, oh crap, I put in my brush. My Sephora Collection Eyebrow Pencil Shade Ebony. I'm using the spooly part. I know it's kind of dirty because of, you know, the dual glue got stuck on it, so I haven't had a chance to clean it. So yeah, I like to use that to brush it out. Brush my hair. Now I'm gonna outline my brows with my Benefit Cosmetic Brow Contour Pro. I like this because it's like a little pen. Well, not a little pen, it's a pen with different colors. I use like um, number five color here, like a darker shade. But I'm using like this, this nude color, so you guys can see it to trace out my brows because I like to do that so I can have a guide to where you know where to like fill in my brows because you know this part this brows is like different from this one this one's like a nice shape this one have less hair here because the brow lady she works too much of my hair on that side so let's see how I trace it give me a nice guide just follow right on see it's like I'm tinting my brows but I'm really not you know, you go to like the brow specialist or whatnot. That's what they do first before they tint your brow. They trace the outline into, you know, to find the shape to how your uh, eyebrows is. Yeah. See? They cousins, girl. My brows are cousins. So now I'm going to push down the dark shade. I like my brows to be dark. Not too dark, like black, like a dark brown, you know? Now I have black hair, jet black hair, so I need my brows to be dark. So I'm gonna fill it in. Don't go outside of the line. Make sure you stay inside the brows. See how it's getting more shape. And I like the um, Benefit Cosmetic Pencil because it glides so easy. Like the new one from Huda Beauty, that um, micro needle eyebrow thing, it's so thin, like it breaks every minute. Like, oh no. I don't like them little thin ass uh, pencils. Yeah. I go lightly in the front. I would use like a lighter color, but I just want to stick to one color. Bam. So now I'm going to start with this one as well. I'm going to do the same. Twist it up. And I got this from um, Marshall or TJ Maxx. Uh, TJ Maxx for like $10, y'all. Because they don't have this no more like in Sephora. I see they took it out with the Cabral uh, Cabral as well. They removed that from Sephora. So yeah, you can find this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx for a nice cheap price for like $10. Yeah, okay. Let's go lightly up in the front part. Ooh, it looks like I'm breaking out. See how my eyes look on fleek? Like if I don't trace my brows, it's gonna look like I was struggling to like create my brows. I like the way when I trace it, like it gives me a guide and it makes my brows look nice and neat. And yeah. Hold on, make sure it match. You see? I know this tail look longer. Let me drag this out a little bit. Okay. Let me drag 
Okay, so now we're gonna conceal with the I never really I use this make this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin uh 24 hour concealer. So I'm gonna use this like to carve out my brows. This looks more like a reddish undertone. It looks more like my skin tone. Um I don't like to go too light on my um brows. You know, I you you know if you don't want to go like right so your uh, your brows will look like one of those halo brows like i don't like that like on the here like when i do my eyeshadow my brows look too light so i like to carve it out with the same color of my skin tone it might look too dark but it's okay you gotta if you do your brows make sure you go slow some people like the under eyebrow i mean the under brow to look very highlighted but no i do that once in a while but yeah today we're gonna do something simple and I hate the red and orange undertone like everybody that's dark skin don't have red and orange undertone like seriously see how that look damn so I'm gonna do the other eye as well usually I take forever to do my brows today I got some energy y'all know I see I'm moving fast not too fast but faster pace than that, what I usually you know do because you don't want to carve out too much. And my brows be funny. You want to drag it in? I mean, drag it into your um, eyelids. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to do the top part as well. Stellar Highlight Palette, Palette and Contour Palette. I'm using this as my eyeshadow. They used to sell this at Sephora, Sephora last year, but they don't have this in store anymore. I don't know if they still have it online. But yeah, Stellar. I love their highlight and their blush. I mean, their bronzer is because it's very pigmented. So I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow today. This is like a basic, you know, it's a basic look I'm trying to do. So yeah, I'm going to use this, use this dark shade right here with my BS Small uh, blending brush. I think I got this from Oxford Charm, I guess. I'm gonna use this as my transition color. I'm gonna do like a basic eye look. Blend this all over here. Circular motions and then, you know, use the little windshield white motion to blend up the color, to blend out the color. It don't really show because it's more like my skin tone. That's what I'm going for. Something natural, something basic. Okay, make sure everything's all blended. Because we're going to use that gold tone from my eyelids to make my eyes pop. It's a little bit more. You feel me? See? Natural. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphine brush, my Morphine um, E10 concealer or eyeshadow brush. I use this as a uh, concealer brush, you know, to carve out my brows. So yeah, anyways, I'm using this gold shade in the middle. Oh, it's very pigmented, look at this. Very, very pigmented. I need it to get all that. So I'm gonna place it on my eyelids. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty, y'all. It all over. Damn. I'm gonna go back with the bending brush to make sure everything's spinning all together. Okay, girl. Go back in with the gold color for the other eye. So my eye is. This eye is different. This eye is bigger than this one. 
that we've done with the eyes, the brows, the lashes, all the lashes I'm using is Mystic Lash. It's like Fox Mink Lash. I got it from like, you know, when I was in Georgia and Atlanta, GD Master, so you guys can find it there. I live in Miami, Florida, so I don't know, I have to see if they sell it here as well, so. Local beauty supply store, y'all, check it out. Lashes on fleek, all natural. So yeah, let's get to the face. So I'm gonna use the new Too Faced Plumping Prime, uh, luxury face plumping primer. You know, everything's always wanna, be, they always want everything to be plumping. Too Faced got the lip injection, pump, plumping lip gloss. Now they got the plumping um, face serum. They say it's almost like a, um, I mean primer. They say it's almost like a serum. It's like Botox in a bottle. It's supposed to be helping, you know, lifting your skin, make your face look tighter and younger. Uh, we'll see. I mean, actually, this is my third time trying it. I, I haven't seen no difference. But I like the feel of it, so that's why I'm using it in this video. Mm -hmm. place, place this all over my face. My nose area. Skin. You know, I already got high cheekbones already, so I don't need no more lifting. I'm already lifting up. <laughs> so we prime our face. That's the first step you're gonna do before you apply your foundation. So right now, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put on two foundation. The Clinique uh, Even Better Clinic Foundation. and have SPF 25. I know it's not sunny right now. I just like the coverage and the feel of it. I'm gonna mix it with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This shade is a little bit red, so I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this neutral tone. This is shade Y535. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna start with the dark color first. Place it upon my hand. This is new, I haven't used it yet. I don't use too much. It's too liquidy. This is a little thicker, so I'm gonna apply this here. You see? It's like two pumps. I'm gonna use no more than two pumps. I'm gonna use my Judas Place um foundation brush. Oh yeah, let me just that up just a little bit. See how light that is? Don't worry, I'm gonna make it get a little darker. I don't like when my foundation is getting light. I like to look even, you feel me? That's why I didn't apply too much. I mean, I didn't put too much. Get the neck area. Blend it out, blend it out. I'm using patty motions because this already had that like that angle part, you know? It's easy to like blend it when I pat it. Ooh, don't mind me, I'm breaking out a little bit. Yeah, this foundation is... The um, Make It Forever foundation is too red. I hate red and orange on the tone. I don't know why they think everybody want to be red. So yeah, blend that out. Don't worry, I'm gonna get my color back. So I know I look a little crazy right now. Everything's gonna come out real smooth and real nice all together. Let me go back to fix my brows. So I see I took some of my brows out. You know, you got your lace wig done and all that. You don't want to put makeup on your uh, edges. Try to make that they look nice and neat. Go back to my brows. If you feel like you took some of your brows back, you can always go back over it to fix it. Too Faced Concealer, which is my favorite, very hydrating. I have Alpine Rose, coconut oil, no coconut water. And I like how it's creamy and thick, and it blends really nice. I'm gonna place it right here. You're gonna use a lighter color, like two, three shades uh, lighter than your foundation. 
So this part is called highlight, but highlight our T-zone area. I don't want to put too much, because this thing is creamy and it's full coverage. Put my forehead, nose area, here, Some people carve out the jawline, but I don't do that, because I don't like to look too highlighted underneath my jaw. Mm-mm, that's too much. Don't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This has no alcohol and it does not transfer to your face, man. That's what I really like about this. Ooh, let that dry a little bit. Fan, fan, fan. Fan, fan, fan. Back, I got my Beauty Blender. Make sure it's damp so, you, uh, so your concealer can blend very really easy. I'm gonna start with the forehead. I'm using patting motions. Tapping, I say patting, tapping motions. Tap, tap, you see how it blended? You see how highlight it look right there? I'm gonna pat, tap this right here as well. My nose area, my eyes area, gonna look up. Blend everything together. Make sure you don't take out your, um, wipe off your eyeliner, but sometimes that happens. Blend, blend, blend. You see how nice it moves? Let me put my head up a little bit. I'm trying to see my face at the same time while I'm blending it. Yes, the color that I used was, was chestnut. Yeah. If you're the same skin tone as me, you could use I have chestnut, maple, and um what do you call shy. Shy chestnut is more of my highlight color. Maple is almost like my color. And say is a little bit darker for my contour. I don't like to look too highlighted on my eyes. Some people do, but if you want to, that's you. Yeah, this is how bright I'll go. Okay, so we did the highlight part. Going back in, make sure everything's blended. I don't want to put no makeup on my weave because I just washed it. I washed it yesterday. Okay, so now we're gonna contour. I'm gonna use my um color perfect foundation stick from black radiance yeah black radiance is the shade yeah we don't got the shade hey, how come they got the shade i don't know it's old so i'm gonna use this come with a little blush brush i mean it come with a little brush on the other side you guys can bend it out cheekbone area. This is real dark. Ooh. I haven't used this in a while, y'all. So do it lightly on my nose. Cause you're trying to snap we're gonna snatch our nose today. Get the chin area. So, yeah. So we're gonna contour to give us this nice ooh give this nice defined look. You know, so it could bring everything in. And I'm gonna use my um little brush. To blend it out. Oh, I'm breaking it out right here. If you feel like this brush is not working, you can find this at your local CVS uh, store or Target. Target have it. We're gonna blend this upwards, y'all. Upwards. Don't worry, we're gonna go back in to blend it. Oh, that is too dark. Should have used another color. It's okay. If you feel like it's too dark. Or it's not the right color for you, don't worry, you wanna go back in with a powder. Let me take some out on this side, because it's too much right here. Yeah. I'm gonna use a foundation brush to blend it out so I can blend right in. Yeah, see? Ooh, baby. I'm gonna blend the forehead. I don't want no makeup in my face, Oh, this brush is, is not working. Let me go back with my um, foundation brush. Bam. I'm gonna use like the other side of the beauty blender so I can get right in this nose to blend out the nose contour. 
as I said, you're gonna use tapping motion. Everything's coming together, y'all. Everything's coming together. So, everything creamed, you're gonna set with powder, okay? Oh, hold on, this side look a little bit red. Cream, you're gonna set it with powder. Let's make sure everything is all blended. Let me re blend my own eyes one more time. Make sure it's set and blended because it is not really blend. And when you put the powder, it's gonna start creasing. You're gonna see lines in your um, under eye, and you don't want that to happen. So now I'm gonna go with my Wet n Wild uh, loose setting powder, shade deep. You gotta be careful with this because this could get a little messy. I'm gonna use that to set the highlight parts of my face. Ooh, that's a lot. Right over here. Had a lotion. All the highlighted parts, areas that we that we did as cream, we're gonna set it with powder. Here, the chin area. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that right there. Ooh. And I just washed my clothes. I already getting dirty already. Uh, whatever. Ooh, okay, I look kind of crazy, but yeah. Okay, that part is set. So now I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna contour at my um, makeup revolution shade deep bronzing. Had, um, contour. Use my Laura Mercier contour brush. Use light motions, upward motions to set the contour. I usually use like the Morphe one. The Morphe uh, bronzer is a little bit uh, more reddish, which I kind of like now. I like, and this one's a little bit more cool tone. That's why I look so dark right now. Every part that you contour, that's what we're gonna set with the dark color. I'm gonna squeeze this. I have a contour brush, but I don't feel like getting it, so I'm gonna squeeze it. <laughs> and then we're gonna set the contour on the nose, make sure it's match. Okay. Already my nose looks slimmer. I'm gonna close this. Oh, wait, no, not really. I'm gonna go back with the Wet n Wild powder I'm gonna carve out the contour to make it more neat I never used to do this y'all because I feel like it's break out but once I did this it looks nice like my contour look more snatch You have that, you know, that line. Now I'm gonna close my powder. Try not to get it nowhere around here because I already dirty myself. You see how we look snatch? You bake in. If you want to bake and wait for like five minutes, you can. You know, if you want to just remove it right away, you can. I like to remove it with my um Ruby Kisses Matte Powder Foundation. I got this in my local beauty supply store. It was four dollars some other stores sell it for five but i got this four this is color honey brown i'm gonna use this powder for the parts where i set with the powder oh my gosh why did i open it okay cool and this honey brown is a lighter shade i see so i'm gonna use that to blend out the powder the nose area blend everything out and then we're gonna go under i like to save my um under eyes last because i like to let it set a little bit more so it could really like set the concealer try not to put too much in my hair let's see all right 
from now, let me make sure I'm good. You know, I'm looking at y'all and I'm looking at the mirror. So, yeah. Okay, I like this yellow powder. So now I'm gonna go under the eyes. Oh, damn. You know what I forgot to do? Mascara. See where the eyes are setting? I like to put mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using the MAC Extended Fade uh, Gia Black Lash Mascara. This is really thin. I like to, you know, fade that out. I like to wiggle my brush left and right. So I can really get onto the lashes, my bottom lashes. Let me look up. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I like to brush off my um, powder. Because if you brush it out and then you do mascara, it's going to mess up your under eye. Well, that, that happened to me, so I like to do the, the lashes first before I brush off the setting powder. There, we almost about to get through with it. You feel me? And we ain't gonna take that long. Well, I ain't take that long. I like to make sure everything's blended. Go back and forth. Cause when you take your picture, you want you know that you don't want no flashback. You don't want no lines showing. None of that. You feel me? So now we're gonna go with the blush. Damn, I forgot to get my brush for that. This I got this from Sally Beauty. This is one of these cheap blushes. It was two dollars on sale. Yeah, I'll open this. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with this. I forgot my blush brush, so I'm gonna use my powder brush. Put this in your apples or your cheeks right here. It's small a little bit. That's how you know where to put the blush. You feel me? See, it looks natural, very basic. I'm gonna go with my highlighter. No, I'm gonna go in with my stellar highlight palette that I use for my eyes. I'm using my little Cinderella, whatever brush I got from it, the, it, the Ipsy. So I'm gonna use the second color, the gold color. Just do it lightly. Ooh, that thing looks real nice. Okay, I'm glowing already. Shoot. Right on top of your cheekbones. Right there. You see that? That's where you place your highlighter. Cause some people be like, how where you place your highlighter? They ask me that all the time at support. So you're right on top of the cheekbones, the highlight, right here by your ears, that's where you contour. The apples of your cheeks, that's where you place your blush, okay? So remember those three steps. Mmm, girl, you should not, girl. Mmm, right a little bit in my nose. A little bit here. Girl, you was looking snatched already. My, I like my cupid's bow to be a little bit shiny. Damn, you see that glow right there? Okay. We is getting together, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with my, um, what I think that? Okay, there you go. I'm going to go with my Sephora collection of gel liner. This is shade uh, Molasses, number 17. I only use dark brown liners. I don't use no color liner. Back then I used to, but now it's all about these brown lips, brown ombre, new cute lips, you feel me? So I'm gonna outline my lips right here. I love the gel base because it's easy, it's easy to glide on. I mean, it glides on easy, see? And now I have to like, keep scraping my lip to get the color. So for a collection, yeah. Okay, Number 17. I put the little line just, you know, so my lips could be a little bit bigger than what it is. Do you feel me? Let me use, I like to use like a nude color. I don't know. I'm more into the nudes now, y'all. Back then, I used to do all these bold colors. Yeah, what, what color I want to use? Right there? Okay, I'm going to use this Anastasia um, lip gloss in the shade 
butterscotch but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a matte color first so I'm gonna go in with this uh stellar liquid lipstick shade uh biscotti I'm gonna put the matte color first and then put the gloss on top like a brown nude So you take the asses uh, lipstick out. So I'm gonna be on your teeth. Ooh, that's cute. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the lip gloss on top. Uh-huh. Honey, honey. Yes, girl. See how grown and sexy I look already. Okay, no okay. game. See how my lips look ombre? Maybe you feel like you put too much highlight, you could blend around here. Make sure everything's even. Yeah, Stella. Okay. I don't know why they now support no more. They tripping. And then you done, girl. You is good to go. Whatever you trying to go, date night party, birthday dinner, hang out with your girls, get your face beat like this girl it's like your everyday basic makeup yes honey so i'm gonna use my setting spray from charlotte tivory you is good to go and this is the finished look This is the end of the video. Look how flawless I look with my jet black hair. Okay, looking cute with my little ponytail. Make sure you guys see it, you know, close up close and personal. Yes, baby, yes. Okay, so if you guys want to see me, you know, do more, you know, tutorial, basic look or a cut crease look, whatever look you want me to do, comment down below. Let me know, you know, what look you guys want me to do. Um, and also, of course, click on notification bell, subscribe, tell a friend about this video, about every video that I do, let them know, girl, okay, put it in your social media, okay, I ain't playing with y'all hoes, okay, I ain't playing with y'all hoes, I'm playing with y'all, but yeah, y'all, yeah, I love this look, follow my makeup page, because I will be posting this on my makeup page, Makeup by Pretty Shade, it will be down below in the description, make sure you guys follow my social media, and yeah, so see you guys, uh, yeah, in my next video. Bye, deuces.